All right, let's do a bell word question before we get into this lesson. So we're asked to find the question mark, that angle. And we've been given a couple angles. Um, we've been told the top of the angle there of the triangle is 49 degrees. And we got this angle all the way over is 119 degrees. And we're also in the question, we're told lines A and B are parallel. So what that means is we can use what we learned about corresponding angles. And what I mean by that, so I've got two different inter intersections. I've got this intersection and I've got this intersection right here. And they're created by a line crossing two parallel lines. So if I don't even worry about the triangle at first, I can use that 119 degrees to figure out a bunch of things. So what I can figure out is if the angle is 119, it's the top of the intersection. That means this angle right here is also 119 degrees. So now what I can do is, I'm going to erase my circles now. Now what I can do is, um, if this is 119, I know these two angles, 119 and the angle right to the left of it, are supplementary angles, because those two angles create a straight line, and I can figure out that this angle would be 180 minus 119, because two, two angles on a straight line add up to 180, and I do that, and that's uh, 61. So this angle is 61 degrees. Now, if I forget about everything and just focus on the triangle to the left here, I know two of the three angles of the triangle. I know the top angle is 49 degrees. I know the angle to the right is 61. And we learned the three angles of a triangle always add up to 180 degrees. So I can add up the two I know. 49 plus 61, I do that math, that's um, 110. And then I can do 180, which is what the three angles of a circle add up to, minus 110, and figure out that this missing angle is 70 degrees. So to figure this out, I had to go a couple steps. Step one, I figured out um, the corresponding angle of 119 degrees. Then I figured out the supplementary angle of that, which was 61. Then I figured out the missing angle, because three angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. All right, so today we are going to talk about polygon. So we got some definitions we're going to talk about, and then we're going to make sure we know the names of the polygons. So one word you'll see in geometry a lot is the word congruent. Congruent just means equal. So if I say two sides are equal or are congruent, that just means they're equal. If I say two shapes are congruent, that means they're equal. So a polygon is an enclosed figure with straight sides. So polygons are like a square, a triangle, things like that. A circle is not a polygon because it does not have straight sides. It has curved sides. Finally, we have a regular polygon. That's a polygon in which all sides and all angles are congruent. So if we think about triangles, a regular triangle would be an equilateral triangle because an equilateral triangle has three equal sides and equal angles. So now let's see if you know, the, normally I would ask you guys, but obviously this is just a video. So we're going to talk about, you need to know the names of the different polygons. A three-sided polygon, hopefully you know it, is a triangle. A four-sided polygon, that is not a square. It is not a rectangle. Those are specific types of four-sided polygons. What we call a four-sided polygon is a quadrilateral. Quadrilateral. A five-sided polygon is a pentagon. A pentagon. A six-sided polygon is a hexagon. One way to remember that is it has an X. And the number six has an X in it. So that's, that's how I remember how I learned it way back when, when I was little. Um, Seven-sided is called a heptagon. An eight-sided figure is an octagon. A nine-sided polygon is a nonagon. So that one's pretty easy to remember. And finally, a 10-sided is a decagon because dec means, deca means 10. Think about a decade is 10 years. All right, so those are the um, polygons that you need to know, three, three sides through 10 sides, and they're listed there. 
All right. So, so um, normally I'm gonna I'm gonna ask this to you guys in class in class. So we're just gonna kind of skip over that one. So this is what you need to know. The sum of the measure of the angles of a polygon with n sides, so n stands for the number of sides the polygon has, is n minus 2 times 180. So basically what this means is you can figure out what all the angles of any polygon add up to using this formula. So for example, a triangle, we know a triangle has three sides. So if the formula is n minus 2 times 180, that would be... 3. A triangle has 3 sides, so 3 minus 2 times 180. That would be 1 times 180, which is just 180. And we already learned that, right? We knew the three, three angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So what about a quadrilateral? A quadrilateral is a four-sided polygon, so we would do 4 minus 2 times 180, and that will tell us how many, what all the angles of a four-sided polygon add up to. So 4 minus 2 is 2. 2 times 180 is uh, 360 degrees. So all the sides of the quadrilateral add up to 360 degrees. Next, we've got a nonagon. A nonagon has nine sides, so it would be 9 minus 2 times 180. 9 minus 2 is 7. So 7 times 180. Remember, you can use calculators. 180 times um, 7 is uh, 1,260. So all of the angles of a nonagon always add up to 1,260 degrees. All right, so I want you to do these three. Find what the sum of all the angles of each of these polygons adds up to. So pause the video and do it. All right, so you should have paused the video and figured out these. So a hexagon would be six sides, so six minus two times 180, so four times 180. To do that math, that's 720 degrees. So in a hexagon, all the angles of that hexagon add up to 720 degrees. What about a polygon with 13 sides? So it'd be 13 minus 2 times 180. 13 minus 2 is 11. So 11 times 180 is um, 1,980 degrees. So all the angles of a polygon with 13 sides add up to 1,980 degrees. I believe the name of a polygon with 13 sides is a triskaidekagon. I'm pretty sure, not 100%, but I think so. All right, a pentagon. A pentagon has five sides. So five minus two times 180, that'd be three times 180, which is 540 degrees, 540 degrees. So that, for those three, that's what the, all the angles of those polygons add up to. So then what you could do is you can find missing angles of polygons. So let's start with this first one here. We see it has four sides, so it is a quadrilateral. So what I can do is I can figure out what all the angles of a quadrilateral add up to. And this is something you're probably going to memorize, but you could do 4 minus 2 times 180, so 2 times 180, and you get 360. So all four angles of a quadrilateral have to add up to 360 degrees. So I can add up the three that I know. So 47 plus 112 plus 88, I can add those three up. I do that, I believe I get 247. So I knew three of the angles and they added up to 247. I know all four have to add up to 360. So I can do 360 minus 247, do that math and I get 113. So this missing angle is 113 degrees. All right, let's look at the next one. So first of all, how many sides does this thing have? One, two, three, four, five, six. It has six guys, six sides. It's a hexagon. So I can do my formula, six minus two times 180, which would be four times 180, which would be 720. So all of those angles have to add up to 720 degrees. So I can add up the five angles I already know. 
So 97, 96, 99, 168, and 93. I can add those up. Use my calculator. 97 plus 96 plus 99 plus 168 plus 93. Add those up. I'm getting 553. So those five angles add up to 553. I can then subtract from 720, which is what all six angles have to add up to. Um, do that. So 720 minus 553, and I get 167. So this angle right here is 167 degrees. So I use my knowledge of what all the angles of a polygon have to add up to to find the missing angle. So we already gave this definition, but we'll give it again. A regular polygon is a polygon in which all the sides are congruent and all the angles are congruent. So all the sides and all the angles are equal. So let's read this question. It says, find the measure of each angle of the regular polygons below. So it's telling us this is going to be a regular triangle, a regular quadrilateral, a regular octagon. So to do this, I can do the same thing. So a triangle we know they add up to 180 degrees, but let's say you didn't remember that. So you could do three minus two times 180. So one times 180, which is 180. So the three angles of a triangle add 180, but it says find the measure of each angle of a regular polygon. So a triangle has three angles. So I'm gonna do 180 divided by three. I do that, I'm gonna figure out each angle of a regular triangle is 60 degrees. So make sure you read what the question's asking. We're asked to find the measure of each angle of the regular polygon. So what about a quadrilateral? Quadrilateral has four sides. So four minus two times 180, that would be two times 180, which is 360. So I know the four angles of a quadrilateral add up to 360. It wants to know what each angle of a regular quadrilateral is. So I'm going to take 360 and divide it by the four angles that a quadrilateral has. I do that and I figure out that each angle of a regular quadrilateral is 90 degrees. And that actually makes sense because if you picture a regular quadrilateral, it is a square. And a square has four right angles, which would be four 90 degree angles. Finally, an octagon. An octagon has eight sides. So eight minus two times 180. That would be six times 180. I'm gonna do that. Um, six times 180 is 1,080. So the six, sorry, the eight angles of an octagon add up to 1,080 degrees. So to figure out what each angle of a regular octagon is, I'm gonna take the 1,080 and divide it by the eight angles. I do that and I get 135. So each angle of a regular octagon is 135 degrees. All right. I'd like you to find the measure of each angle of the regular polygons below. So do this one, pause it and do this on your own. All right, so you should have figured out that these two, a pentagon would be uh, five minus two times 180, would be three times 180, which is 540. I'm gonna divide that by five, because there's five angles, and I end up getting 108 degrees. 108 degrees. So every, each angle of a regular pentagon would be 108 degrees. If you picture the big, the big building in Washington, D.C., where like a lot of like the Department of Defense is located, the Pentagon, if you like went and measured the angles of the building, they would be 108 degrees. So what about a nonagon? That's nine minus two times 180, it's seven times 180, which is, I think it's um, 1260, check, 1260, yeah. I'm gonna divide that by nine, because there's nine angles in the nonagon and I'm gonna get 140 degrees. So each angle of a regular nonagon is 140 degrees. And that is it for this lesson.